Hey everybody, it's Daniel. Um, just wanted to do some catch up on some videos, on some reviews. Um, there we go. Been away for a while, been busy dealing with a lot of family stuff, what what have you. So, anyway, um, so I'm going to do, try to do a couple today. Today is November 16th, I think. Thursday, November 16th. So, um, I'm going to try to get these videos all posted up tomorrow. Not tomorrow, at least by next week. But, so anyway, I've got a couple of guitar reviews I wanted to do and a couple pedals. So, first one I'm going to do is this one. Um, I don't know, uh, for those who don't know, this is the, um, sorry, my tuner, head soft tuner. Uh, this is the Cordoba stage guitar. So... You know, if you're like me, you're primarily an electric guitarist, or even a steel string guitarist. Um, nylon string classical guitars can be a bit challenging. Usually their necks are about like that wide, and they're like, they're flat, they're wide. They're just, they're very difficult to play. Um, my dad has an old classical guitar, um, a no-name brand one that, uh, one of my uncles gave to him, or, uh, you know, and I remember being little, or even, even recently, like a couple months ago, trying to get my hands around that thing, and not being remotely able to get my hands around it, to play it, um, there's a funny picture where I'm fretting it, and, and when I was younger, and, like, my hand almost, I almost couldn't even have my thumb on the back to even get my hands around to do an A chord. Um, so for someone like me, small hands, who's more used to electric guitars, more used to steel string guitars, um, they've always been very difficult. Um, <clears throat> I went down when my one of my local stores, um, Nicholson's Music in Folsom, had this guitar. And I also went and tested a couple other Cordoba models. Um, this guitar was... I found that it was comfortable, it was playable. Um, I could wrap my hands around it, I could chord it without too much difficulty, you know. Um, and the price is pretty good. I think they sit somewhere between six to eight hundred, I think, depending. Um, so for me, I got this um, as a trade. So I traded my Silver Burst Telecaster with the two pickups in it, the two upgraded uh, pickups I had in it. And I traded uh, the, guitar, the guy for this guitar. Um, when I saw he had one of these, I asked him, I'm like, hey, because he was interested in my telly. He was trying to offer me some trades. I'm like, hey, I see you got one of those Cordoba stage guitars. Would you be interested? Long story short, took us a little while, went back and forth, and then we were finally able to meet and do the trade. I've had this for maybe about a month or so, and just kind of playing with it, just messing with it, trying to get a grip, um, an understanding of the guitar. And I, I like it. So I, mean, I think this review should be fairly short and sweet since I'm not a classical player. Um, I'll say this, if you are, um, if you are someone who's into steel string or electric guitars, this is probably more your cup of tea. Um, if you have smaller hands, this is probably more your cup of tea. Um, if you want a classical guitar that you can, um, again, and this is a fairly thin line guitar, if you see it. There's a little battery compartment back here for the electronics. Um, yeah, so I really like it. I think it's kind of a keeper for me. It's just something that nice to have. I can play it on the couch. I can play it. Um, I can just play it just hanging around. Um, take it with me a lessons. It came with a little gig Cordoba gig bag. Um, and let me just kind of show you what it's got. So this is the guitar. Um, there's been a couple, so this is kind of standard colors, this brown sunburst, but I've seen like some have like a, like a blue color, almost like a denim blue color. 
Um, my local store, again, Nicholson's, has a brand new one in like a reddish color. So almost like a wine red type color. Um, I don't know if that's a limited edition or if that's just a color that just came up. Um, so right here um, is the uh, volume. This here so one of these switches I think this one gives up I would not quite it's not quite a tone but it gives a little bit more body I think what this uh, so this one gives a little bit more Body, more tone, more something, a little more oomph to the guitar. And this one here, from what I understand, so this thing has both a piezo in it, and it has, I guess it has like a body mic in here somewhere. Not 100% sure where, but... So what this does is it, from what I understand, is that this allows you to mix like this is just the piezo, just the piezo acoustic picket. And when you do this, yeah, you can kind of, so it's basically, I think what they call it, is a blend knob so this will so if you choose to do like that you can see so you can kind of hear it so this is kind of blends the body mic and the PA so so you can get different sounds so you can get out if you're a more of a percussive player versus just a piezo which would just be for your plug and play kind of sounds I have it all the way up to kind of allow it to kind of I kind of like that. Uh, I kind of like the. It's got a little bit of both. I like that it's got the. A li this uh, with this turned all the way in, that it kind of gives you a little, a little bit more body to the guitar, a little more warmth, a little more oomph. Um, so I think that's kind of all I've got to say about it. Um, yeah. So. I would highly recommend anybody to get it, especially, like I said, if you're an electric guitarist, if you're a steel string guitarist. Um, I like that it's thin. I like that it's a thinner body. It gives you a lot of good sound, a lot of warmth, a lot of oomph to it. Um, and it gives you that legitimate, nice, classical guitar tone. Um, I haven't found it lacking for anything. Um, ironically, um, now... I will say in terms of the neck, while it's comfortable to play, it's um, it's playable for me. I could see myself playing with this. Um, there's actually a model, I think it's called the Fusion um, by Cordoba as well. Um, uh, the guy at uh, Nicholson's Music, when, when I tested this one and he also uh, had me play the Cordoba Fusion, I can't remember the full name for it, um, Basically, that model's just a traditional um, classical guitar. It's got a cutaway. It's got the regular sound hole. It's a thicker body. That one actually had a more comfy neck, had a comfier neck than this one did. And this one's um, sold or being marketed towards electric guitarists. So that was kind of a laugh, a bit of a laugh. We're like, okay, you think the the guitar model or you know being pitched to electric guitarists would have the better neck of the two models um but with that being said this is not uncomfortable in any way it's um it's comfortable i can play it um this is something like if i wanted to do tears in heaven or do the eric clapton unplugged mtv or classical gas or um anything like that anything that had a classical guitar i'd be more than comfortable playing this for you know for part of a set so 
Um, and I suggest I would highly suggest it to anybody who wanted one. Um, like I said, I got mine in a trade, so um, I'm not 100% sure what the price is. I think it's between like six ninety nine to seven forty nine or something. It might be it might be more like seven fifty with the you know with the prices going up for everything. So, but it's well worth it. It's something if you want a little something different in your arsenal. Um, you just want you know you need a nice um, classical guitar. This one is actually also perfect because with limited space, not only in my room, but limited space in my guitar rack, this fits perfectly. Being a thin line guitar, not being a full bodied classical. I think if it was a full bodied classical, I'd have to get a secondary or another, another stand to put it in. But with this being as thin as it is, I can just slide it right into my rack with my electric and my other acoustics. I literally have it uh, placed between my Takamine 12 string and my uh, Fender Old Yeller, uh, Old Yeller Strat Plus. So, like, there's, like, that much room, f uh, between the two guitars, and this fits nicely right in the middle. So, that's my review. Um, feel free to leave any questions or comments. Do you have one of these? Do you like them? Uh, do you play them? Um, what's your favorite song to play on this? Go ahead, leave questions, comments on the bottom, and, um... I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. <laughs>